Earth signs. Hello, sacred spiritual healer here. This is your November monthly general read. We're going to do career, finance, love. Excuse me. Excuse me again. I don't know where that came from. Alright, so we have our signs is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So both water and air had amazing November sign uh, readings. Awesome, awesome career um, reading. So we will see how Earth does. I'm sure you're very grounded, so November should be good for you. It's the time of harvest, right? Uh, everybody gets together for Thanksgiving. Thanks. Whatever uh, Pilgrim Day, <laughs> kids used to call it. All right, spirit. True precise messages for the Earth sign Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, please. True precise messages for Earth signs for their career in the month of November. Career for Virgo, oh, Taurus, and Capricorn, November. I only want four. So. And I am taking reversals because. It might be the ending of something instead of the beginning of something. Mm. All right, Earth signs. Well, you're grounded. A lot of uh, <laughs> I'll give you that. Let's look at finances. How are your finances, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, November finances? Finances for the Earth sign. People aren't talking or something because my throat's shutting off. <clears throat> it goes with the hermit card. <coughs> Finances for Earth. Come on, Earth. I know you guys keep to yourself and in your head, but. Starts off in November a little uh, sleepless nights. Um, see, this way would be like you can't sleep. You feel like you're being stabbed in the back. There's gossips around you, people stabbing you in the back around you that don't have your best interest in heart. And you feel like you're almost being haunted by dreams, by spirits coming in this way. This is um, reversed, so... 
you're just coming out of this energy of sleepless nights beginning in November. Um, so no longer feeling like the stabbed in the back or haunted. Um, you're starting to feel freed up from that. Okay, and you are coming out of those uh, that stage feeling like the king of coins, like you're... Um, you know, been successful in the career space so that you are working on your pentacles. You're draped in love because you are in your heart chakra is wide open. All this green everywhere is for your heart chakra. He's very studious. Looks like he's been working hard. Very serious looking. But with, in a good light because the light behind him. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Um, a little emotional here for the Earth signs. Earth uh, can delve, be a little earthy at times if you're uh, a Pisces cusper or something, maybe. the um, So some of the Earth signs can come across as a little watery in emotions. So this is emotions. You're in your emotions. Um, Still um, looking as beautiful as Earth always does. Um, the fish are swimming against the current. So you're in your emotions, going against the current presently, or feel like you're going against the present, but coming up out like you handle it like a boss. Okay, because clearly she does not look like she's swimming against the current. She looks pretty uh, relaxed and in control. And so I'd say as the King of Cups, you're looking like you are much in control, regardless if you feel like you're going against the current. All right? But you're going into Hermit mode, as Virgo does. Virgo likes to go into Hermit mode at least once a month, right? The You are keeping your hand held to the wand with the light, your light that uh, you know there's a divine light that you are following. And it is guiding you on your path. And so you're going deep inside on a journey, mental journey, right? Um, in your mind, that is. Um, thinking of the travels, the mountains you've had to co climb or go across, travel across. But the stream uh, are the calmer waters. When you're in nature, you feel like you're in calm waters, more spiritual, more connected to earth as an earth sign. Okay. It's a different career one, and perhaps, and perhaps your part of your career is outdoors or traveling. For some, not for all. Okay, for your finance, there's going to be just balanced scales here. So maybe um, a few of you are in the courts trying to decide on some kind of divorce, um, splitting of the uh, family. The yin and the yang, you're splitting things up amongst the family. So perhaps recently, if you did have a, a family loss recently where you're splitting the estate, my sincere apologies, um, sympathy. Um, but this is two people being masked and not necessarily in the truth, trying to not look at what they're going to get or take. Um, they're trying to not see it. They don't want to see the truth because their sword here is down, but justice says, no, we're going to balance this out. We're going to spin that wheel and see who gets what. Okay, which puts you in a little bit of a hangman position, but you're not sure if you want to be in a hangman position. This came out just like this, so I kept it that way. It's not up and it's not in reverse. I didn't really feel the energy of one way or the other, so I'm keeping it sideways, which tells me you're trying to put yourself in a hangman position so you could think of this from a different perspective, but you really don't want to. You know, you should be in the hangman position to get a different perspective, but you're being, someone is being stubborn with all the wands here. You're putting yourself more in almost like it just gives me the nine of wands um, uh, energy. So instead of something so positive and playful like this dancer here, Everything's of divine timing. Everything is being mirrored to a counterpart. So this is divinely guided um, situation. It's divine uh, outcome. So whether you are stubborn or not, spirit is going to tie you up and hang you upside down to give you a different perspective. It's kind of like a tower moment. If I were you, I would put myself in there to save you the tower. That's just me. 
I might try to go some towers now. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, it's like your pillar of strength, your um, your uh, guide guide post, your um, all the let's see the dragons around it are protecting this um, jewel, this wand of divine guidance. The it's almost like where were you over here? It's like this wand here, how you're following the spiritual light, and that's how this is. This is your wand with that spiritual light. It matches over here. And you have the dragon energy protecting it with this flame around it. Um, so a lot of passion in this card regarding what you're doing for your finances or you're being passionate about your your, what's guiding you. You're passionate about what's guiding you to make the decisions. from this new perspective Spirit's giving you. Thank you, Spirit. Evidently, you're going to get a tower moment because the tower didn't come out, but that tells me it's almost a tower. But you're going to get the sun card at the end of this for your finances, right? Sun's going to come out. You're going to make uh, be very abundant. You're going to be going in and studying something new, perhaps quantum physics. This is my quantum physics card to me. Um, everyone always says the sun card's the happiest card of the deck. But this almost looks like the magician trying to study quantum physics and the science behind the things they're working on, right? So maybe you're going in and studying something regarding your finances and how to make a new, um, make different uh, financial decisions, a uh, different career move or something that will help you prosper here easier so you're studying maybe you, when you got that per new perspective spirit gave you uh, regarding what's guiding you you came to the sun to say okay what's this about what's this energy that I'm feeling and I'm hearing and etc lover's card for your love section great card to start out with um, for your love since that is your love getting the kundalini awakening here with the snake or it could be the Adams and Eve why because they've got two snakes slithered up with one apple so perhaps um, this is being seduced by someone um, in your love life or the kundalini awakening is in um, a divine connection in your uh, it's an awakening okay spiritually which would make sense with this because of the quantum physics um, card and all the divine guide, spiritual guidance that you're getting. Um, you could be going into something, a uh, work more spiritually driven or a partner, etc. Okay, but this love life, you're um, no longer stabbing people in the back, no more feeling like you're stabbed in the back. It's an ending of being hurt in love because it's a ten of swords, an ending, but it's upside down, so there's an end to no longer being hurt. Sorry, that's my work phone. Um, Eight of Wands. This reminds me of the 1111, very spiritual card as well. You can also look at the um, the guy, the angel in the top, almost looks like the Divine Masculine, or the Cupid. He's got a bow and arrow. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Hopefully. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. And there's a bull in the background. The shadow of it, anyway. And a lot of stormy clouds. But these beautiful wands are coming up out of the storm. So what this tells me is whatever pain you experience, whatever struggles, whatever storm clouds you came up out of with these wands, that Spirit's guiding you through this. And those storm clouds are going to be nothing to get these beautiful wands, right? So it'll be, I'm hearing it'll be worth that struggle. And your um, divine counterpart or lover is the Queen of Wands. Because um, since this is the guy, this is the feminine. Um, so uh, look how uh, she's also a fighter. She's helped you fight through the storm. She's uh, coming up looking very triumphant. All right, in your relationship. And so career. He is a king, so that's good. You're in your emotions, that's good. Um, finances, I didn't get any coins. So you've got a coin in your career, one. 
no coins in your finance, but um, got a lot of passion and good things in your love life. <laughs> Not that you can eat off that, but let's clarify, shall we? <laughs> Alright, let's start with the first one up here with this sword in reverse. And it does mirror the same color as purple as here. So uh, something with your career is blending with your love life. Uh, water sign just got something like that as well. Alright, so spirit, let's clarify that. Uh, nine of swords for their career, thank you. Uh, five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. From the career perspective, I would say somebody's getting let go from their job or feels not welcome or something's been lost in the workplace that they are feeling left out in the cold. Alright, but the Hierophant comes in and it's the Hierophant that's feeling left out in the cold and he in the moonlight here and his emotions stand, sitting there confidently but feeling left out in the cold. Alright, well, uh, Hierophant, let's see, maybe this is his job. I don't know, why is a Hierophant then? Why is a Hierophant if he's a Hierophant? Why the hermit? Sorry, spirit. You know what I meant. Why the hermit, spirit? Why the hermit? Trying to get a perspective on his career as to what to do next, where to move, how can he make a better career, something he wants to do more. Wheel of Fortune, the wheel's going to turn for him, helping him to move forward. This is a divine guidance. There's a beautiful woman here, the spirit here, spirits up here, and the Sphinx is holding that wheel, but it does want to turn. And there's a tower in the back. So he's going in as a hermit to decide what to do about this situation. What else about the Wheel of Fortune Spirit? What job do they get? What else do they get into? Okay, Seven of Pentacles, finally, right? Wants to go into something. The wheel wants to turn so that they can make that more pentacles. And they're going to take that leap of faith with their puppy. I just want to say, adopt a puppy. <laughs> That's cool, though. She's got her light. She's got her, she's dancing to her, beat her own drum. It could be a he, I don't know. But they got the puppy. <laughs> All right, we're going to clarify justice, Spirit. Why is the justice card here? Thank you. Because Queen of Cups said so. This is finance and Queen of Cups on um, justice. So what about the Queen of Cups? What did she take? What did she do? She is not the same woman as over here. She's got brown hair. And she uh, feels like she's um, not deserving, uh, what's it called, spirit, um, entitled? She's got this look of entitlement, like, just bring me my drink. Six of Wands, it's been quite a battle regarding this queen. It's dark, but he's taking his um, significant other with him and moving forward, so that's not the one he wants. The bird is a significant other, it's a soul mate, possibly. And I also read this, when I clarify this, if it reads across, okay? Okay, so why is he in the hang, high, hanging man up there? Why is he in the hangman position? <laughs> Clarified by the hangman. Funny, and it was still, it was still sideways. Still not wanting to, but if you hang there, the waters, you didn't want to hang up, uh, be the hangman. You didn't want to put yourself in that position because it's sideways again, remember? But there are two people on the, each end of these ropes saying you're going to hang, and dip, they're dipping them almost in the water. Like you feel like it's torture instead of relaxing. This one makes it look like a fun, relaxing, right? It's supposed to be a good growth. Clarify that again. Finances. 
finances, hangman. You don't want to be in the hangman position. Why? You don't want to think about it. That's why. You don't want to look at it from another perspective. Somebody's being very stubborn about how they're dividing the funds regarding this separation. Thank you, Spirit. So this is the entitled woman. Um, and he is, he's moving on. He's been through battle, it looks like, because it's a dark card. Um, and it looks like it's the Hierophant. So he's moving forward. He's taken that bird and he's moving forward. And he does not want to think or look at it from a different perspective of her, the finance she wants to take from him. He's the one that's worked so hard for it. He's worked until he's been tireless. Clarify me now, please. Why doesn't he want to think about it so from a different perspective? Six of Pentacles, because it was equal give and take. He wants equal give and take. So somebody's trying to take more than their share. And he's not able, these were in reverse. He's not able to manifest what he wants. He's stuck. He feels stuck. Thank you. Um, regarding this Ace of Cups that he wants to offer, he feels stuck. If, they, if this is unbalanced, he won't have anything left to offer. Two of Wands, so he's trying to make that decision, and he gets the tower. I told you the hangman would get the tower. Can't make it up, but he wants that sun. This is so cool. The sun is actually a phase. Pretty cool. And the sunflowers are always very bright because these two people that um, want to be in the sun card, they nurture each other because the sunflowers, that's what they do. When the sun goes down, sunflower is actually the, the heads of the sunflowers turn to each other to nurture each other off the brightness of the yellow in their flower that's true just I'm just sharing that the only bit of flower information I know okay <laughs> been doing these readings all day Queen of Pentacles um, so she was the Queen of Cups she's still Regarding the Ace of Wands, this is Guidance, and he's getting the oh, Ten of Pentacles. So it's an ending to the fight of the Pentacles, so he can move forward with this woman that is in the picture. Four of Cups, because he doesn't want to feel... He's willing to lose the other three as long as he gets that one Divine Cup to give to the Queen of Pentacles. And this is Three of Pentacles from the King of Wands for communication and no longer feeling stabbed in the back. And then they get the Sun card again. You got two Sun cards, three, two Sun cards. Very nice. Okay, the levels. We are going to clarify. Okay. I'm going to use a different deck for this because I've used so many here. This is my love card deck. Not really, but I would call it that. For the love readings. Okay, so lovers. Clarify lovers, please, here. Clarify the lovers for the first sign. Wow, another song to sign. I want to be an earth sign today, man. Alright, I want to be water too, though. Alright, Ace of Wands. You're going to have divine communication. This is for the lover's card, remember? Divine communication. Coming forward to the one you love, uh, to the one he loves, she loves, whichever, uh, to the loyal partner. She's following her higher self, studying the science of her journey in her heart chakra, and she is just, I mean, there, looking elegant, wait, uh, being loyal, waiting for his communication, waiting to hear from her love. 
Yes, I know. Ace of Pentacles. Again, divinely guided. Growth of Pentacles, which is good. And end of three-party situation because the three parties are in reverse. So this is the end of the three-party situation if there was one for you. And you will be victorious with the sun card out. And these here are the inner child. So her inner child she's healing and nurturing with here. And she's keeping her uh, counterparts uh, inner child nearby. And again, the sunflower is nurturing uh, each other. Nurturing. She's nurturing the uh, little infants there and the earth with the sun card. Waiting for her ship to come in. Okay, let's get these stabbed. This no longer feeling stabbed in the back with the Ten of Swords. Clarify this Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. And then I'll read across after I get these out. Well, so November looks pretty good for y'all. no longer being stabbed in the back because you are the king of swords you pulled them out you've leveled up you're the king of swords you want to move forward with your chariot and your lotus which is your love your chariot of love towards uh and the wheel wants to turn forward without any uh karmic uh deception or lies because the snake's crawling off of the wheel and moving forward blindly, trusting uh, the divine because the little monkey is going forward. Um, the only choices you want are the divine, what the divine has given you. Um, these are the alchemical symbols from the divine. And you're the turtle, somebody is, moving across calm waters to get to that cup that is for them, which is that one with the dot. It's like a little bullseye. All right, two of cups, nurturing one another, loving one another, because you want the ten of cups with them, happily ever after, another completion, and king of wands, having that positive communication. Yes, because a relationship is not going to happen without communication. All right, eight of wands, also communication. All right, that's down here. So I'm going to clarify that. Because someone has surrendered to the divine, surrendered to the situation and trusting that the divine will guide them. And taking that leap forward, of course, to his queen, his her queen, his her king. You can switch genders. I didn't say that in the beginning. Energies are changeable. For the Queen of Wands, recently in the past, there was heartbreak, right? Because we had the upside down three, three party situation thing that ended. So, of course, that's going to cause that stabbing in the back and have heartbreak. But there's an end to that. Um, that's why he's taking the leap forward to clear it up, knowing that they've lost some things, but they still have their cup of love, their one cup. Uh, with the King of Cups, he's got his toes in the water of emotion. He's smiling. Look at his little face. I like that King. So cute. Looks like an owl. Um, and there's equal give and take with Six of Pentacles, knowing that they are both being nurtured by the Divine. On the same path and the same mission. Might as well get one for the Sun card, although this is amazing. I really don't need to clarify it. But saying that I... I said it was for education, learning about the quantum physics. We'll clarify it. Clarify some part here for the spirit. Thank you. Yeah, because you are the sun card. Studying the science of it because you know you've um, lost some. Maybe there's even been spilled blood. But you still have your two cups to pour into one. You've been in your emotions. You want that calm water. And you have manifested this with the little genie out of the cup that the Spirit's given you a choice. Do you want the divine cup or do you want the sexy fish cup? 
I'd stay away from the fish, but that's just me. Queen of Cups. Let's clarify the fish. Got a lot of fish here. <laughs> Queen of Cups, I'm going to go fishing. <laughs> Queen of Cups. his money, the devil. And she's trying to take his cup of love. She wants everything he has, including his cup of love. But the king of coins, the world will turn forward because he's constant. Well, he may feel tied to this cup queen. He's concentrating on his the soulmate that he wants. He is meditating, trying to put down swords to see how he can obtain that. He knows she's the star. He wants to put a death to this situation and move forward victoriously. Okay, he wants to move forward in his truth with courage because he's out of the hangman position actually that probably was supposed to be so he goes in the hangman position going from dark to light he wants to come forth with his uh, truth like a lion regarding the three of cups or a three party situation but he's ignoring those karmics and only nurturing himself with his cup of love and he knows that his counterpart his divine counterpart the one he loves is nurturing him in as well Okay, so going across, we'll see. That's how it kind of blends. This one was done with being stabbed in the back. He wants out of the cold. He is the hierophant, which is the highest. Okay, justice number. So we have the, uh, this was the person he's divorcing, evidently, or leaving behind, but she wanted all his money, right? She wants to leave him out in the cold, so he was moving forward. And who was he moving? Oh, to the lovers, remember? He's moving forward to this. So, um, he wanted equal give and take, but she wanted more. She wants to um, leave him with the nothing um, and even take his ace of cups which we had that here well, she wants to make the cup so she doesn't want to divorce him he's trying to mat magna manifest thank you sir he's trying to manifest the new beginning with his lover making that choice of her this one over this one so the tower comes in because they wouldn't do the hangman decision and then he gets the sun card and you get the sun card over here, so everything is uh, in aligning uh, both up and down. You have a balanced life basically right now, or in November, okay? Regarding your career, finance, and love life, it will balance because you have the sun card in everything. All right? November is awesome for earth signs. I want to be an earth sign. All right, that being said, have a blessed day. Namaste.